and so quickly snapped photos. As he got closer, he saw the baby next to the yellow lines. Then Cannon says he used his truck as a roadblock. I blocked off traffic, got out of my truck, held off traffic until someone came and picked the baby up because I didn't feel comfortable because the baby was a little bit, you know, a little bit irritated. Yeah. So I just waited for a neighbor to come over and pick the baby up. She said it wasn't her child and she didn't know who it belonged to. So Cannon says he looked around and saw that the screen door of 201 Joe Parker Road was not secured. The baby was crawling towards that direction. So I knocked on the door. A three or four year old girl came to the door. Then a, an adult came to the door. I asked if it was his child and he, oh yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, you don't have to apologize to me. You should be apologizing to your daughter. They're on Boulder Highway. The wife was driving. The husband saw him first. Come on, get up to him, get up to him. I'm trying to block traffic. Stop, 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 stop. The man got out with open arms and scooped up the boy. Turn on, walk off! This Honda pulled over. That driver called police. The man's wife got out of the car too. We talked to the couple. They didn't want to go on camera, but told us when the man asked the boy if he lived in the neighborhood across the street, the boy nodded. The couple took him door to door. He asked me, do I know who this kid belongs to? And I'm like, are you serious? Matthew Eskridge didn't recognize the toddler, but he grabbed his shoes to help. As I came out, the mom was running down the street and she ran out the gate because she seen the cars parked on the side of the road. Matthew told me the mother was so frantic, she ran past the man holding her son. And the lady was holding the bike and she like, your son is in there. So she turned around and came back right here. 